Hey kids, do you guys want to help me pull a joke on my neighbor Tom? Yeah, oh, excellent. Okay, now as you know, every time I mention a famous artist's name, Captain Comics always shows up in a flash and you know, ah, I can't see. So what we're gonna do is I've taken this piece of paper right here and I've written a famous artist's name down, man. And I'm gonna have Tom read it aloud and well, you can guess what happens next. So shh, shh, play along. Tom! Oh, hi, Tom. Hi, um, Joey. Someone stopped by the house today and delivered this message for you and asked if you could read it aloud. There's nothing on here. What do you mean? Uh, it, there's it's, it's some on there. No, there's nothing on there. Yeah, there's uh, read it no, out loud. No, there's nothing on there. There's I'm telling you, there's some on right there. It says it. Van Gogh. Captain <laughs> Kirk. <laughs> there's too many spots. <laughs> that was fun. Am I late? Who wants to know about Van Gogh? Hey. Cartoon guy. If you want to paint a painting or you want to learn to draw, if you want to be creative like some artists that you saw, then where in the whole wide world should you go? To the cartoon guy! At the cartoon guy show. Captain Comics really clever, the professor's really smart, but their next door neighbor Tommy doesn't care much for their art. So how can they Imagination grow with the cartoon guy at the cartoon guy show. The cartoon guy show. The cartoon guy show. The cartoon guy It's an E. It's an A. E. It's spelled T H E. No, no. T H A N. No, a it's E. A. E. A. E. A. E. A. E. A. E. 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 That was a little much, don't you think? Welcome to the library. How may I serve you? Well, we were needing somebody to settle a question for us. Yeah, we needed someone to prove that I'm right. Am I to assume this is about the pronunciation of the word van? Well, yeah, I think it's spelled with an E, but Stan over here thinks it's with an A. Actually, you're both right. You see, you're each giving spellings of a homonym, or homophone. Those are two or more words that sound similar, but are pronounced differently and or spelled differently. The difference is in the context. Context? What does a tournament have to do with any of this? Not a contest, context. The meaning of a word. If I am to help you with your little debate, I think I have a trick that actually will be very helpful to you. Do you recognize this symbol? Yeah, that's the alligator. We use that in math class to show which number is bigger. That's right. You use this symbol to compare numbers. Now, what do these look like? Hmm, they look like direction, only without the words. That's right. You use this to convey the order that things happen. And in answer to your next question, you need only one vertical line on each. So if you want to compare something like he is taller than you, you use T-H-A-N. T-H-A-N. And if you want to use it in terms of conveying an order or something, like first you have dinner, then you have dessert, you use T-H-E-N. E-N. So you see, spelling is very simple. That's great and all, but, um, you didn't answer a question. I didn't? No, because neither of those examples are the type of pizza crust we like. Mm -hmm. You mean thin crust? That's spelled T-H-I-N. Oh, I guess we were both wrong. Oh, well, yeah. no biggie. No biggie. Mm -hmm. nah. uh, Mr. Librarian, we'll see you later. Bye. Yeah. Thanks a lot, man.
Yeah, yeah.